Hello and welcome back to Income Strategies, a place where you'll learn the skills to make money, to multiply your money and to manage your money. Okay, we're on another episode of Inter-Exchange Arbitrage on KuCoin and BitGap. Yeah, and we've got OFN USDT. Now, let's quickly dig into this and go quickly check out all the parameters, okay? So I got the signal of one of my secret service agents, okay? So now I'm just going to start working on it before the profits begin to go down. You guys know that anything arbitrage doesn't waste time, so we got to get cracking, okay? Now, we're going to quickly do what I call like a deep dive um simulation to be sure that this is going to work so i'm just going to work with 20 dollars okay so i'm going to put in 20 dollars here and i will just quickly click on that and see how much we can get all right let's copy that um then once i do that i quickly run over to bitget okay and then i quickly check let me make sure i tap okay and then we'll paste this in See how much we can make. Oh, 37 cents. Hmm. That's not exactly up to 2%. It's like about 1.85, something in that range. Not bad. Let's quickly go and check on the withdrawal and deposit and be sure that this can be done. All right. And we also need to check on the fees. Let's quickly do this. Let's check it out. What do we have here? Let's check for um, OFN on the withdrawal. And then we'll put OFN there. Okay. And then we'll check. We'll check the and select network. Hmm, let's see how much this is. Oh, wow. Eight cents. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's really good. So the BEP20 network. So that's fine. All right. Let's just check one more time to be sure that all everything is in place. Yeah. BEP. That's the. That's BEP20. All right. That's good. Let's cancel that and let's go and check that we can deposit this into BitGet, okay? We just have to be fast, but I'm just showing you this so that you know what you should be doing, okay? Now, let's quickly do this and check for OFM. We want to be sure that the deposit network is open because you don't want any mistakes happening, okay? That's OFM. All right. So, it looks like you can deposit it and it is, uh, is it BB20? Let's be sure. Oh, yeah, it's BEP20. That's the only one we have there anyway, so that's good. Now, so this is OFN, OFN BEP20, and then the same thing. So we can see that we have both of them available, so we're going to quickly run down and do this with our, you know, what I call the order book. you got to check whether we can get this sold, so, or what I mean. So let's put 20 there. How many pieces is this? It's not much. It's 123 pieces. And for me to buy it, wow, look at it. Look at it. Let's see if I have to buy this. I can see that the first leg has only seven. The second leg has only eight. The third leg has 15. Wow, it's going to take ages to get this bought. And we need 120 pieces. Wow. The only way to get out of this trade is really to do market order and that's going to be is that going to make sense okay so if i actually try and close this up and put only cells let me see at what point you will have up to oh, interesting wow we actually have 1.3k here oh let me go back and check let me put only let me put both oh and let's see okay i think it has changed I was wondering, I was only seeing eight. What's going on here? This is OFN and I'm trying to buy, okay? And I need 123 pieces. But look at it. The first spread here is 1625. Is that going to make sense for me? Wow. Let's go ahead and try this out very quickly because if we don't... Oh, let me check the charts to see what's happening. Yeah, it's looking like it's going down. What about in BitGet. Is it going up? Gotta have to check to see what's going on and we have to do that. I'm just showing you this because we have to check. Okay, just like it's going up a little bit more. So let's go out of it and get back into KuCoin and let's try and see whether we can get 20 
dollars worth of this i have to check this out again because i'm not sure whether it's still good so if i pick let me go back let me pick the first red all right and put 20 dollars here let's see whether we can make any money all right so i'm just gonna ask 120 so you can see now it's reduced let's go back and quickly do this don't forget it's eight cents to send this right and we have to be careful so that we don't lose out on any so if i put this one and I paste that there, will I still make oh, 25? Oh, it's reduced because we took the higher one, right? The other one was in between, so it gave us a good profit. Right now, we're looking at 25 cents. If I subtract 8 cents, it might likely look like, ah, we're going to make lesser than that. But let's still go back and be sure, right? If we do the other one, maybe we'll have to put a buy limit. But that buy limit is going to take time. I don't want to do a buy limit because I know it's going to waste my time. But maybe we just have to do the buy limit because really if we want to make profit with this we have to respect those figures okay so let me copy that and quickly run over and go do this one more time before i make my decision okay so i'm going to put in that amount to see what we can make ah oh, it's gone down a bit but we're still in profit so i think we have to go it's either we choose to buy outrightly and quickly make some 18 20 cents or we wait in the queue i think i'll go with the faster option okay i think we should go with the faster option we should go with the faster option because look at it ah it's going down even more okay so let's try this out right let's try this out let's look at it if i do this i'm gonna and i put 20 dollars here i'll get one two three if i make it this amount should I, would I still get that amount? I think I'll get something in that range. Let me go with a higher amount. I don't think I want to wait unnecessarily. So I'm going to put in $20. Oh, I can see that we can still make money. Let's buy. Let's go. All right, I'll be back. All right, I think we have bought it. Yeah, we have. So it's time for us to quickly send this over. Right, don't forget, it's just eight cents to quickly send. So we will have to quickly do this. We're going to BitGet. To go and get all the i hope it's not going down <laughs> but we are already in it there's nothing we can do about it we bought it so let's quickly rush over and get the deposit all right so we're depositing ofn so we're choosing the network i think that's a bep20 all right so let's copy that okay and then we go quickly we shouldn't waste time right we shouldn't waste time let's work let's work withdrawal and that's OFN. Okay, we're selecting network. That's it. And we are. That's what are we? Where is it again? Oh yeah, we're putting max. It's max. Okay. And now all oh, we just want to get done. What's going on? What's happening? Oh, we haven't pasted. I was wondering <laughs> because it wasn't showing. The... Oh come on, let's move. Withdraw okay yes of course let's move okay i'll be back again all right okay so we have initiated the withdrawal let's get back and see how long this is gonna take okay let's get back into it let's see i think we have sent it over all right you can see right now we have just like 19.96 mistaken it's trading free of front you know how cool coin is okay let's run over to bitget I wonder how long this is going to take. All right. I'll be back to give you the results shortly. All right. I'm back. And our money has arrived. Okay. We've got our OFN right here in BitGet. And it didn't take so long. A couple of minutes. Probably like two to three minutes. And it's here. All right. So let's get started. Let's not waste time. <laughs> so what we're going to do is to try and see how much we can make 25. Oh, I thought it would be more than that. But can we get this sold or are we going to have to make, oh, look at it. Can you see what I'm saying? I didn't check the second part. Oh, my bad. I didn't check this part. I was so interested in getting it bought in KuCoin. And now look at it. Wow. If I'm going to have to sell this, I'm going to have to tap the fifth one. And that means I'm not going to make any money. Woo, woo, woo. What's going to happen here? 
Now look at this. I, I actually totally forgot this. This is actually a mistake. I made a mistake here. I should have checked it, right? I should have checked it here. I only checked the order book in KuCoin. I only checked the order book. I only checked the order book in KuCoin. Wow. I didn't quickly check this one. I just, I was so excited about getting it bought over there in KuCoin. What a mistake. So that means I have to set a sell limit. I thought I could get this sold immediately. If I look, let's look at this together, right? We already have sent this by eight cents. We've spent eight cents sending this. In fact, yes, we have spent two things. We have spent four cents already. That's like 0.2% because remember we bought $20 worth and by the time we were done, it was already 19.96. Mm. That means we spent four four cents on the trading fees and we've already spent eight cents that means we've spent 12 cents already whatever we're doing we have to get profit that's over 12 cents right and now i'm seeing that i didn't check the order book in bitget i didn't check the order book in bitget i would have seen this and probably would not have taken the trade but at this point we're here already so what are we gonna do what are we gonna do oh look at it the first one here is just one oh can it can it go we have one one seven oh we can we can try we can try oh this is good oh no 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 it's like we're, we're losing money we're losing money look at it ah oh, it's really gone down look at the charts it was going up just now it was going up we have to set a sell limit we have to set a sell limit it's not good it's not favorable so we just have to set a sell limit right so i'm just going to have to quickly do this as um how much did we buy it how much was it before oh this is not working so i'm just going to have to set a sell limit. So let's go one six two one six five and then I'll see. Oh no, this is not this is not what I planned, anyways. But anyway, you know, like I say, you don't own the market. You don't know what will happen right away. Let's go check the let's go check the charts. Okay, will this go up? What was the highest it went to? It went to 184. Okay. And the lowest it went to is 163.4. And currently it's going down. Oh, so let's go back and just work around this, right? We're going to work around this. This just happened as we came. It was actually good, right? So I think I should make it 166. I'm sure it will go back up there. Let's just make it 166 and see how this works, okay? We'll set a cell limit of 166. And then we'll go with it, all right? And that's giving us 39. Let's go with this. Okay, so we're currently in the queue with OFN, right? Uh, this immediately fell as we landed here. It was still a good price when we got here. But it immediately fell, right? And that's just one of the things that happens. You can never tell what's going to happen because... As I am buying, other people are buying. And as I'm trying to sell, other people are selling. So we have faster fingers. We have the people who are selling faster. And that's why you can see that this huge red candle just showed up. It was initially on 165. Look at it. This is the evidence. 1655. And then all of a sudden, because it was going up, all of a sudden it went down. So this is the one of the risks that can happen. When we come but it looks like it's going back up that's what it looks like it's going to you can see the the red tail that's developing right it's going back up so i'll be back to give you the results shortly wow woo! ofn has finally executed yeah it took some time though but it's already executed and as you can see here we made 37 cents awesome 
awesome but you know that's not all about it right we gotta go in and check all the different things that happened okay let's look at the charts okay let's go ahead and look at the charts Hmm. look at what happened this got executed like about seven hours ago yeah like I said it took some time but we thank God that right now it has executed and look at it it ran all the way let me go back this look at this it ran all the way to 1842 Wow that's interesting and now it's coming down but thank God it went up all the way to 1840 42 and now we have executed it and this is awesome all right so let's go in and calculate all right so let's look at all the things that went into making this trade before we can arrive at our own profit right so right now we gotta have to do all the calculations of how we arrived at our profit so remember that we actually first of all had to buy OFN right and that cost us like about four cents okay so that's 0 0.04, right? That's the first one, which is four cents, plus the sending fee, which was eight cents, 0 0.08. Wow, so that means we had 12 cents, okay? Now, 12 cents was actually the fee that we needed to transfer the OFN over to BitGet, that's 12 cents. Then the trading fee in BitGet was 0.1%, uh, which gave us uh, that's what was that? That's plus 0 0.02. So we spent 14 cents, as you can see, it was 0 0.02 plus 8 cents plus 4 cents, and we spent 14 cents. Okay, so we made 37 cents. All right, that's uh, 37 cents minus 0.14. So we made three, 23 cents that was the profit that we arrived at and looking at the trading volume which was 20 let's multiply that that should be 1.3 no 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 1.2 1.15 let me put that that should be 1.15 percent am i right that's it that's 1.15 percent gave us 23 cents that was the profit we arrived at now that's not bad, really. I mean, just imagine you were using something in the range of $2,000 and you made 1.15%. That's not bad, right? And you just need to realize that this has to do with trading volume. If you take a good look at the order book, one of the things that we encountered was that when the trade came in, immediately it fell, like almost immediately. We were about to make profit, but because some other persons came in and quickly sold off. We, I mean, it led to some form of wait and delay. But here we are, we're back on track and we've made profit, all right? So these are the things we need to take note of when we're doing inter-exchange arbitrage. And I told you earlier that one of the mistakes I made earlier was that I didn't come over here to quickly check the charts. I was so excited that I could get it bought in KuCoin, but I didn't come over here to check the chart so that I can know what to expect. But I mean, I quickly worked on it and I was so excited and I was emotional. I just want to get it done over with, but I had to wait for some time. I hope you've learned something from this. If you are just watching this for the first time and you haven't subscribed, come on, go in there and give us a subscribe. And of course, let me know what you think about this particular trade. Let me know what you think about this particular episode of Inter Exchange Arbitrage and I'll be waiting to hear from you. Thank you once again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.